write transfer with wait states. So let's see the example for write transfer which include a wait state. So in this example, in clock cycle t not to t1, this is an ideal phase. In clock cycle t not to t1, which is an ideal phase, since no p select has been selected, p select has been not selected during an ideal phase. So the address information and the data information is unknown in the state t0 to t1 which is an ideal phase. Now during the phase t1 to t2 it is called a setup phase since p select has been asserted to 1. So that time period t1 to t2 it is called as setup phase. Since p select is asserted to 1, so this is called setup phase. So during a setup phase, we are getting some definite address. Here we are getting some address, and p write is also asserting to 0, 1. Since it is a write transfer, here we can see p write is getting asserted to 1, and p select is asserting to 1, and p enable is still 0. That is p enable equal to 0 which indicates no transfer and pw data is also here on this data bus we are getting some data say data 1 and p ready is still unknown in the setup phase p enable and p ready are still p, re, p enable is 0 and p ready is unknown in the setup phase so during t1 to t2 which is setup phase p ready p ready is still unknown and p enable is equal to 0. Now during the phase t22, t3 which is also called as axis phase. In the axis phase we are getting p enable is equal to 1. We are getting p enable equal to 1 which means it is ready for transfer and here we can see p enable is getting asserted to 1 but p ready is still equal to 0 here we can see p ready is still equal to 0 during the clock cycle t22 t4 during the clock cycle t22 t4 we can see P ready is equal to 0. So during the clock cycle T22 T4, the signal P ready is equal to 0, which means the slave is not ready for any kind of transfer that is write or retransfer. So the access phase should extend itself until this P ready asset gets asserted to 1. So until p ready gets asserted to 1, until p ready gets asserted to 1, the access phase extends itself from t2 to t5. Until p ready gets asserted to 1, the access phase gets extended. So this is the right transfer with wait state. So until p ready is equal to 0, the access phase is waiting. The access phase is waiting for the p ready to get to get equal to one when the p ready gets equal to one then the transfer of data takes place from bridge to apb interface that is a write transfer is taking place when p ready gets asserted to one until then the bridge waits for the signal p ready to get to get asserted to one so this is the write transfer with wait state read transfer with no wait state so in this t0 to t1 is an ideal phase which means the p select is equal to 0. During the clock cycle t0 to t1 this is an ideal phase. So during an ideal phase the signal p select is equal to 0. So when p select is equal to 0 p address is unknown and pw data or the pr data since it is an Retransfer PR data, we will consider the PR data 
which is also equal to unknown in this case and p enable is also equal to unknown and p ready is low so during the clock cycle t1 to t2 here it is a setup phase during the clock cycle t1 to t2 this is a setup phase so during the setup phase the p select is asserted to 1 the signal p select gets asserted from 0 to 1 so the p select gets asserted to 1 and we during the setup phase we should have a definite address we are getting some address and here p write is equal to 0 which indicates that it is a read transfer p write is equal to 0 which indicates it is a read transfer that is the data is being transferred from APB interface to the bridge. This is a read transfer. So during a read transfer, the data is being transferred from APB interface to the bridge. So that's why P write is equal to zero and we have P select is equal to one and P enable is equal to zero. That means that means the transfer has not been started and so we have no data during this phase and p ready is still unknown so during the clock cycle next during the clock cycle t2 to t3 during the clock cycle t2 to t3 which is also a which is also called as axis phase so during this axis phase we are getting p enable is equal to 1 which means transfer can be started so when p enable is equal to 1 transfer will be started and p ready is equal to 1 when during the access phase p ready is also getting equal to 1 and we are getting pr data as data 1 so there is no wait state inserted in the clock cycle t2 to t3 since the p enable is getting 1 the p, p ready is also getting 1 that means the slave is ready for transfer and the slave is sending data to the bridge so this is read transfer with no wait state similarly read transfer with wait state it is equal it is also same as the write transfer with wait state so during the clock cycle t0 to t1 which is an idle phase so in idle phase p select is equal to 0 so p address is unknown and p write is also unknown and p enable is also unknown and pr data is also unknown and p ready is also unknown and during the clock cycle t1 to t2 which is a setup phase p select is getting asserted to 1 so we are getting some address and p write is equal to 0 which indicates a read transfer and p enable, p enable is still low which indicates no transfer and pr data is still unknown and p ready is also still unknown and during the access phase p enable gets asserted which means transfer can be initiated but the p ready is still low in this access phase t2 to t3 so no transfer will take place from apb interface to the bridge so the bridge will wait for the p ready signal to get asserted so it will the bridge will wait for clock from clock cycle t2 to t4 and it will wait for the p ready signal to get asserted and as soon as the p ready signal gets asserted the bridge can access the data in the access phase here we can see as soon as p ready is asserted to 1 we are getting data on the read data bus and this data is being transferred to the bridge from the app interface so the bridge is waiting for the clock cycle t2 to t4 since the period is low so this is the retransfer with wait state when so when during wait states during wait states that is write or read wait state occurs when p enable is asserted to high and p ready is equal to zero then the signals p address that is address signal p write that is write 
signal and p select signal pw data or pr data strobe signal p strobe this following signals should be constant should remain unchanged so during wait stage these following signals should be unchanged remains should not be changed so during the wait stage these following signals should not be changed until p ready gets high